Hey friends, it's Len here from 1A Auto. Today we've got a vehicle in the shop and we wanted to go over something to think about that's underneath the hood that's going to affect fuel economy and the amount of power you've got in that vehicle. Let's jump right into it right under here. On this particular vehicle, the air filter is located right here. On your vehicle, you're going to want to find it. It might be located in a different area. I'm going to go ahead and open this right up. I'll lift up the air filter and I'm going to take a, oh my gosh, I'm going to take a peek. Look at this thing. If you have an air filter that looks like this, it's almost like having a glove over your mouth like this and trying to breathe. Yeah, I can breathe, but I'm not going to do a very good job if I'm trying to run 100 miles, right? I'm not going to be very efficient when it comes to breathing at that time. So if your air filter looks like this, that's definitely something that's going to cause poor fuel economy and it's also going to cause hesitation when you're driving. Another thing to think about, if your air filter looks like this, you want to make sure you look inside that box when you're replacing it. If you can see down in that box and you see a whole bunch of crud or anything like that, maybe you have a mouse in the house, you need to make sure you clean that out. Another good idea, if you happen to see all that inside there and you know that it's probably a mouse, I would follow that air duct. And you can see right here, more than likely this is where that mouse is going to be getting inside there. Is there a couple things you can do to try to cure that? There sure is. You can try to use a mothball put it inside a little bag and put it inside there, the smell of it's going to more than likely try to keep the mice out. You can also try to put a screen, that's going to help it. Whatever it is you decide to put on there, you want to make sure that it doesn't restrict airflow in any way. Obviously if you have an air filter like this, it's going to cause an issue. Could you just go like that and try to get the majority of the dirt out? Yeah, that might get you down the road a little bit further, but it's not going to be helpful overall. And you definitely don't want to take a blowgun and try to blow this out. By taking a blowgun and trying to blow this out, you might spread the fibers that are supposed to be catching the dirt and they're not going to catch the dirt anymore. It's going to get pulled through the air filter and then right down here to your mass airflow sensor. So now we're going to assume that you just found that you have an issue with your air filter like we did. You know that you've got the issue inside the box and maybe even you took a, took a chance and you blew this out. Like I said before, you're taking a chance of, of course, contaminating your mass airflow sensor. If that was the case, it's always a great idea to unplug it Unscrew it from the air filter housing duct right here, and you're gonna to wanna to take a peek at it. It has a little bubble in there, and that bubble's actually gonna um, read the amount of air that's getting pulled through and into the engine, and it's gonna meter it. That way there, your vehicle's gonna know exactly how much clean air is getting pulled into the engine, so it can match the amount of fuel, so you can run as efficiently as possible. If it's dirty, it's not gonna run very efficiently, and you're gonna have very poor fuel economy. If you need any of these parts, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. All right, friends, so we showed you a simple thing to check if you're having an issue with fuel economy. If you learned something and you liked the video, click the like button and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. While you're at it, why don't you go ahead and ring that bell and subscribe. That way there you can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.